In North America, mountain lion assaults have occurred 126 times in the last century. Of those, 27 were deadly. Attacks are still incredibly infrequent despite this, making them all the more terrifying. The image of letting loose with an apex predator's teeth clenched on the back of your neck. Even the most seasoned outdoorsman will get goosebumps after hearing a spine-tingling scream. However, these beige beasts of doom rarely make an appearance announcement, so by the time they are discovered, it is frequently too late. And that's exactly what occurred on January 8, 2004, when a lone mountain lion attacked two bikers twice, both on the same day. This is a result of local habitat degradation, automobile incidents, and rodent decisions. Also, because the Santa Ana Mountains are landlocked, despite how terrible they are, they are unable to breed with other mountain ranges in other regions. Mountain lions are very solitary animals. They are often wary of humans and would never intentionally try to interact with them. Furthermore, there are no known instances of mountain lions purposefully stalking or hunting people. How do we then account for the attacks? Several experts feel that people unintentionally instigate mountain lion attacks. People who unintentionally approach the animal's kittens too closely set up the lion's defensive instinct. Today, though, was unique. He decided to venture into the unforgiving desert terrain by himself without a weapon or pepper spray. In the end, he had experience. Regrettably, this proved to be a costly oversight. There are numerous loops and turns throughout the trail system. As a result, lost individuals may take a while to be located. The strain of the head caused the chain to break. Mark hastily parked his bicycle next to a bush and knelt to examine the broken chain while trying to come up with a fix. A mountain lion suddenly materialized and attacked Mark, knocking him to the ground. Mark tried to battle it, but the beast learned to target critical regions via millions of years of evolution. The mountain lion bit Mark in the face and throat, choking him and cutting off his blood flow. It then sank its claws into Mark's shoulders. Mark shouted in agony, but no one could hear him. Since Mark was alone, he had no chance. The enormous cat pulled Mark's limp body into the surrounding bush where it would start to eat him when he finally passed away from the wounds. Are you already immersed in the story? Consider subscribing quickly to help us out. Aniela was leaving with her friend Debbie Nichols to go cycling for the day in the White Wilderness Park's desert hills. For the two 19-year-old women, it was a routine day. Anne joined the Marine Corps and was assigned to somewhere about. She had always loved the outdoors, so this was the perfect life for her. As Anne was a tough lady who worked as a helicopter hydraulics technician, it was not surprising that her preferred sport was mountain biking, which calls for a lot of endurance and toughness. Debbie and Anne enjoyed riding on the park's arid pathways. Their favorite location was Cactus Hill, a constrained section with numerous curves. Anne and Debbie arrived at the park later on January 8th. They were expected to ride for only 45 minutes. Yet what was supposed to be just another routine day for them ended up being a terrifying encounter, entering Cactus Hill from below. A few minutes into the trip, the lead woman discovered another rider parked along the constrained trail as the two ladies cycled swiftly down the trail, oblivious to the foreboding danger ahead. She soon encountered a small climb and prepared for the final incline of the trail, and abruptly noticed movement out of the corner of her eye. She initially believed she had startled someone, yet as soon as she felt the violent impact of 110 pounds of pure feline muscle moving at 35 miles per hour, her doubts were quickly allayed. Jesus was my help. The mountain lion attempted to turn around and bite Anne in the throat while holding her by the back of the neck. She dragged two or three steps before it readjusted and tightened its hold on the side of her face. Anne's ear was severed from her head by the beast. It continued to tug and adapt. Debbie hurried in the direction of Anne despite the unexpected circumstance. A terrible scene greeted her. Debbie was horrified to see her friend lying on the ground covered in blood, but she was also furious at the beast's brutal effort to kill her companion. Debbie seized her bike, her only weapon, and tossed it at the animal with great violence. Sadly, it made little difference to the forensic beast. She was being pulled down into a gully when it was realized. In a flash, Debbie reached out to her pal. She tugged at Anne's leg to keep her from dying a horrific death. That turned into a one-way tug of war. No, I won't let go. The burden of her broken cheek hung heavily over Anne. Anne was placed on a stretcher by paramedics when they arrived in 19 minutes. She needed immediate surgery, so she was flown to the hospital. Her face was rebuilt and the nerves were reattached, and miraculously made it through the terrifying experience. Thanks to the help of her family and friends, Anne was able to survive. I cannot see any scars. I didn't notice any wounds. Their spouse, Anne, commented, My gorgeous wife is all I see. Anne had good fortune. She was surrounded by people when the attack occurred. Mark, however, was not as fortunate. They saw a body on the ground as the chopper was airlifting Anne. In Mark's case, the mountain lion attack was probably caused by the fact that he was squatting down while fixing his bike. Although mountain lions typically avoid people, they are more inclined to attack small animals. The monster might not be able to tell the difference between a person kneeling and a small, defenseless animal. The mountain lion then transported Mark to a new location and partially consumed his body. Mark's family had filed a lawsuit against Orange County for the incident, but they later withdrew it. 
Upon learning of several objections from bikers who claimed they were aware of the dangers of traveling through the mountain lion area, mountain lions are lethal animals despite their propensity for seclusion and purposeful avoidance of humans. Thanks everyone for listening to this story. If you enjoyed it, please let us know by subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. See you in the next story.